Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for all signs and any sign of the person that you may be thinking of. Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful Spirit has guided you here. Let's see what Spirit has for you for loving messages. Spirit, please share with me. I'm listening for you now. I have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Absolutely. Sometimes just starting over <laughs> takes courage. For those of you that are starting over in the dating scene or, you know, are trying to, um, you know, just recreate a new life for yourself, it definitely takes courage. Uh, loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So even when you're alone, and I know some of you are alone, you have friends, you have family, you have co-workers, and you have spirit. So you're never really alone. Look at, look at all of the people in your life. Spirit, please share with me. I have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So I will not judge others. I will not I'm not walking in their shoes. I don't know what's going on in their lives. I don't know what has happened in their past. So I can't judge anyone else. So I think that these are great um, energies, you know, that just to remind you that every day you are, you're on your own path. You're on your own destiny, but you are not doing it alone. You are surrounded by loving energy. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful that you've been guided here. Spirit, please share with me what love messages do you have for us today? What is it that you need us to know? I am listening. Let's see what we have. I have an ace of pentacles. So we've got some kind of offer, some kind of abundance coming into you, flowing into you. I have two of pentacles making a choice. So you could have a choice between two. <laughs> I don't know. Choices. We all have choices, right? And that's the hard part. I have a six of pentacles. We want to go with the person that's very giving and there's more give and take. And who, I, who I'm putting my energy into, they're putting energy into me, not the person who takes everything and I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with breadcrumbs. So you want the person who, when you're giving you, you're giving your time and energy to them, they're giving it back to you. That is what we want. I have a page of pentacles. So I do have something that it feels like, I mean, a lot of pentacle energy. So I definitely want to go into more of a a sense of I want to feel more secure. I want to feel more stable in this connection. I want to feel like this person is grounded or um, wants to be in this connection as much as I do. So that could be something that you've been thinking about. That could be something that you've been manifesting specifically. Um, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, so there's definitely something Spirit's trying to share with us today. King of Wands and a King of Cups. Beautiful. So Spirit's trying to share with me that, you know, over time that there's someone coming into your life that wants you to feel emotionally secure and wants you to be um, secure within this relationship, that they're not going anywhere, that they only want to be with you, that they're not going to walk away, that they're not going to abandon you, that they're not ghosting you. So those are those are fears that a lot of us are fighting with because there's so many people that just up and end relationships today without any um, you know, closure, and they just ghost you or walk away from it. So, so we're filled with fear of, if I invest my time into somebody, am I going to get it in return? Is this person going to invest time in me? But I do feel like this is this is somebody who definitely there's a sense of security. And whatever security means for you, okay, you know, I'm just going to say stability, security, um, you know, a sense of groundedness is definitely a feeling in this connection. So those are all things that we're manifesting. I This is a star. I've hoped for this. I've wanted this kind of connection. 
I just want somebody to be there for me is how it just came into me. You know, that I'm tired of giving and I'm tired of like not getting it back. So, so just to bring somebody into my energy that, that will truly be there for me. And then this is coming into me is that I can connect to on a higher level, this high priestess that I can connect to that, you know, we're walking the same path. We have the same values. We want the same things. Um, so it is a feeling of, I just want to be with you because I feel like we're supposed to be together. And then here's a nine of pentacles. So this is somebody that it's very important to you today that the person that you are dreaming of or manifesting is connecting to you on a deeper spiritual level, okay? That it is feelings of, you know, whether you want to call it a soulmate level, whether you want to say that um, a trust, a, a deeper tr spiritual trust um, I trust you not to hurt me. I trust you not to abandon me. I trust that when you say I love you, you mean it. Okay. And you're not going to walk away. So there's, there's just a feeling of spirit letting you know that whoever's meant to be in your life is going to fill that, that void for you and to help make you feel like that's a very important thing in your life. Let's see what some of the love messages are. Let's see. So you're going to have choices. I feel you are my my I feel you are wife or husband material. So is this what you have been dreaming of? Is are you looking for security? You know, not everybody wants to be married, but are you looking for somebody that says to you, I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And if that's important to you, claim it, own it, manifest it. That's why we're here. But I do feel a, a deeper spiritual connection that, you know, and there are there is a certain um, amount of, um, you know, I mean, a marriage is a spiritual com commitment. It is a contract, a legal contract. But in most religions, it is a spiritual commitment. It is a vow. So we want to we want to be at a higher level with this person. So I think that that's important to many of you. You're on my mind the most. Absolutely. You're the only one I think about. Love will keep us together. I'm very attracted to you. So you've got somebody who wants to be with you. And definitely, obviously, you've got their attention. Um, you definitely have their attention. Um, you know, whether you something, something about you, right? That they're, you know, I want to, I'd like to think that your, your whole energy, your aura, you know, attracted them to you, you know, just your, your, your vibe, so to speak, attracted them to you. Let's see. I've got love potion. Open your heart to truly feel the magic. Okay. Take the risk. It's a little bit of a, um, I've cast a spell on you. I don't believe in like witch spells, but I, I do believe in that. Like, what have you done to me? Um, you know, energy, like I what have you know, I'm so in love with you that like my head is spinning, um, energy, a wild ride, get off the roller coaster of emotions, take a deep breath. Okay. It doesn't have to be filled with drama. Your life doesn't have to be uh, filled with crazy. It can be um, stable and grounded and secure, which is what I feel like spirit's trying to bring you. I have a finding forever. Look at this. How pretty. Your path, uh, fold, your path holds infinite possibilities if you dare. There's your choices again. So spirit's putting some kind of, someone is being put on your path, okay? And it is a feeling of I'm very attracted to you. I'm, I'm interested in you. But they're definitely, um, I think it's going to start with this attraction. But I love this idea of they're just being put on your path. And there, there's so many possibilities ahead of us. And where is this path? Where will this path lead us, right? So we just want to know, is this path going to lead us to some kind of commitment? guiding light 
Even when you feel lost, there's always hope. So you keep the faith. You don't give up. You keep believing in yourself. You keep believing in love. You keep believing that you um, you deserve only the best. And you deserve this kind of deeper spiritual um, commitment. And somebody who, you know, wants to walk this path with you. I think that that's very, very important. I have a star. Yeah. I mean, they just keep saying the same thing. It's like I have my star down here. And I, and I love when I use multiple decks and I get the same cards um, and the same messages because it's for me as a reader intuitively. It's, it's, a, um, it's a confirmation that the messages I'm receiving, I'm confirming that this is what Spirit wants to share with you today. So Definitely, we want it. We don't ever want to give up on that hope. Um, feeling trapped in Eight of Swords, you're not trapped. Okay, you can always walk away. They had this roller coaster ride, right? That I feel like every time I put myself in a connection, you know, somehow it ends up being this kind of crazy. Um, okay, but you can always walk away from high drama. You can end relationships. You can say no. You can say, I don't want this in my life. You always have a choice to, you know, what kind of energy do you want in your life and what kind of energy are you not going to allow in your life? So that's something very important to take a look at today. This is new love. This is a new path. This is somebody who is saying, um, I think that we have the same beliefs. I think that we want the same things. And I feel like we're moving in the same direction. And I even like the way that this fool is like pointing. It's almost like I'm pointing into our future. I feel like, you know, what? like, can you see it? Because I can see it. You know, when you start meeting somebody and you start to share things like, you know, what do you, what do you want for your future? How do you see your life unfolding? You know, you know, if you're young, you say, do you want to have kids? Do you want to be married? You know, if you're older, you know, where do you want to retire? <laughs> do you want to travel? You know, like depends on the stage in life you're at. But, you know, do we see the same things? Do we want the same things? I think those are important. I have a four of arrows after a sense of peace and tranquility and repair and healing. Maybe this love is coming into our life. So right now I feel like spirit sharing with me today. The most important thing is you always have a choice and that whoever you have grabbed their attention for, it's, it's something that's more stable it's something more secure and it's a deeper spiritual at a deeper spiritual level, which is something that maybe you are really manifesting. I don't want a superficial level, uh, a future proposal. So is this is this a, a future commitment, a spiritual connection? That is really what we're talking about here. This is somebody who comes into your life and it's a deeper connection. It could feel like a soulmate. It could be a twin flame. I have 12, 12 in the clock when I'm recording this. So I will grab that. So it's a deeper connection and spirit just keeps confirming it to me over and over again. So that is something that I feel like we're praying for. That is something I feel like we are manifesting and it's important to you. So it's on its way, moving in together, a deeper commitment, feeling stable, creating a home, a life together. It's time to learn about each other. It's time to get to know each other. How beautiful. I have some numbers here. These could have meaning 10, 3, 19, and 7. Those could have meaning to some of you. Final message, spirit, sexually compatible. Okay, that's important. Online dating, expect a text, a call, or an email. So is this somebody that I'm meeting, you know, in the social, uh, socially, you know, like social media or an app or something along those lines that is just now coming into our lives. So the spirit said one more, one more. Okay. We we're going to see each other soon. Okay. I like that. So I like this. I'm just going to go with this as a final message. Almost expect a call, okay? Expect a call from somebody who really is going to be something something that you've been manifesting. 
and something that you is going to be what it is that your heart and your soul needs. So let's put this out to the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.